Got a new toy today. It's the Husky Gravity Fed Spray Gun. I'm going to try my hand at refinishing a piece of furniture that we got for cheap. I'm going to hook this gun up to my 150 PSI Porter Cable Air Compressor. Great compressor. I highly recommend it. We'll see how this project goes. Okay, so out of the box, we have the paint container. Put that on the side. We have the, the sprayer. We have some miscellaneous parts and cleaners. And we have the instructions, which are pretty terrible. So, and also, the gun didn't come with the coupler. So I went out and I bought this for uh, about a buck fifty, but it doesn't come with this and you need it. So it just screws on right here. Like this. Now I'm just going to hook that gun up like that. So quick story for you. I go to the, to the store and I go to the guy behind the counter thinking he knows best. And I say, I'm going to be painting a piece of furniture. I'm going to be using an air sprayer. And the paint needs to be thinned. He says, all right. He goes and gets me this. I come home. I read the back of the can. Do not use in an air sprayer. Do not thin for use on walls and ceilings. So the moral of the story is check things out for yourself before you leave the store. But I'm not going to let that stop me. We'll give it a shot anyway and go against all advisements of the back of the can and see what happens. All right, so we just uh, screw the paint container onto the gun. We have a paint strainer. That's what they recommend. And uh, I'm just going to pour it in and hope I, hopefully I thinned it right. We'll see what happens. All right, it says to uh, set the compressor to 40 PSI. So we're going to just turn this here and get it up to 40. Good. And being that I never did this before, we're going to practice on a piece of cardboard. See what happens. First time doing this. Now it says to hold it six to nine inches away from the piece that you're using. That's not too bad. Practice a little bit more and then do the furniture. paint in the container and pour it back. We'll just unscrew the lid and dip it right in. Now we just have to clean the paint container here. So what you do is you get a bucket of water and fill this up. A couple of times you gotta do this. You know, you put your hands in there. Clean it out a bit. And you have to pour it into another bucket. And you do that a couple of times until it's all clean. Now I'm going to finish the cleanup by putting a little mineral spirits in here. Okay, good. okay now we're just going to shoot this solvent through the gun to clean the nozzle a little bit. Shake it up and down while you do it.
So there is the finished product. Just in time for the football game.